Hello, everyone. I'm going to read a Sesame Street book today, Grover Sleeps Over, and it's by Elizabeth Winthrop, and it's illustrated by Maggie Swanson. So I'm going to go out of the screen so that you can see the book the whole time that I'm reading, and we'll chat about it. So who have any of you ever had a sleepover with a friend? Do you remember the first time you had a sleepover? Was it a little bit scary? Did you miss your parents? All right, here we go. Grover sleeps over. So let me get everything situated so that you can see it clearly. So here we go. It looks like he's getting his bag. All right, here we go. Grover was packing his overnight bag. The next day he was going to Betty Lou's house to sleep over. He had never spent the night away from home before. My goodness, it looks like he's taking a lot of stuff. Wonder if he needs all of that and he's just spending the night. Grover packed all the things he wanted to take to Betty Lou's house. His red fire truck, pajamas, his blue toothbrush, and his striped toothpaste. His furry blue stuffed monster, his goldfish in a bowl, his begonia in a flower pot, his cereal bowl, and box of monster berry crunch, and his nightlight. Oh my, Grover surely is taking a whole bunch of things to Betty Lou's house, his plant, his fish, his own cereal in the bowl, his, the box of cereal. There were too many things to fit into his suitcase. Mommy Grover called. I think that I need a bigger suitcase. Oh, dear Grover, his mommy said. You cannot take all of this to Betty Lou's house. His mother is right. He's not moving in with Betty Lou. He's just going to spend the night. But mommy, who will feed my goldfish? Grover said, asked. I will, said his mommy. Who will water my begonia, asked Grover. I will, said his mommy. And you won't need your cereal bowl and monster berry crunch and nightlight at Betty Lou's either. But what if Betty Lou doesn't have any monster berry crunch at her house, asked Grover. She will have something else good for breakfast, said his mommy. What if Betty Lou doesn't have a nightlight, asked Grover. I'm sure that Betty Lou has a light in her room that she will leave on for you, Mommy answered. So his mom's getting them all prepared. He has all of these questions and his mom has the answers. Ah, okay. Sometimes Ernie tells Bert scary ghost stories at bedtime, said Grover. Do you think Betty Lou will tell me scary ghost stories? Not if you do not want her to, said Grover's mommy. And she kissed him goodnight. So it looks like he sleeps with the stuffed animal. The next day, Grover's mommy walked with him to Betty Lou's house. When they got there, she kissed him goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow morning when you come home, she said. Ah, so mommy's waving goodbye to Grover. He's at Betty Lou's house. Hi, Grover, said Betty Lou. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for you all day. Come in and I'll show you my room. There is your bed, said Betty Lou, and here are a towel and a washcloth for you. Thank you, Betty Lou, said Grover. 
but he did not put down his suitcase. Oh, he's still holding his suitcase. There's something I'd like to ask you, Grover said Betty Lou. Is it all right with you if we leave a light on? I like to sleep with a little light on at night. Oh, that is just fine with me, said Grover. I think that I will unpack my suitcase now. Then Grover put his pajamas under his pillow and his little furry blue monster on top of it. Betty Lou showed Grover where to put his toothbrush and toothpaste in the bathroom. Ah, once Betty Lou told Grover that she liked to sleep with a little light on at night, that made Grover feel so much more comfortable. And it's important when we have someone spend the night to make them feel comfortable. Ah. Breakfast. Ah, oh, looks like, hmm, let's see what they're having for breakfast. After a nice dinner of spaghetti and meatballs, oh, here's dinner, spaghetti and meatballs and salad and milk, Betty Lou showed Grover how to feed her turtle. Then they built a tall tower with blocks. So they had a very nice dinner. And then Betty Lou showed Grover how to feed her turtle. And look, they built a tower with blocks. Oh, looks like the cat's getting in on some of the fun. Ooh, they're playing lots of games, aren't they? Ooh, they made lots of towers. Now they're playing a board game. Betty Lou and Grover played until Betty Lou's mother said, time to get ready for bed. Oh, looks like they're reading a book together. They just had a delightful day. Now they're both in their beds. It looks like Betty Lou's cat sleeps with her. Grover has his little monster. And ah, oh, look, it looks like Betty Lou's mom's telling Grover good night. When Grover and Betty Lou had brushed their teeth and put on their pajamas, Betty Lou's mother tucked Betty Lou in and kissed her good night. She tucked Grover in and kissed him good night too, just the way his own mommy always did. Then Betty Lou's mother turned on a nightlight in the corner of the room. I think Grover's going to be very comfortable tonight. Good night's sleep. Grover, Betty Lou whispered. Her mother had left the room. Are you still awake? Yes, said Grover. Ernie tells Bert scary ghost stories before they go to sleep. She said, do you know any scary ghost stories? Well, not exactly, said Grover. Do you know any scary ghost stories? No, said Betty Lou. Oh, that is all right. Then we do not have to tell them, said Grover. Good night, Betty Lou. Good night, Grover. Oh, look, the cat's already asleep. The next morning, Grover woke up because he felt something tickling his nose. When he opened his eyes, he didn't know where he was at first. Then he saw what had awakened him. It was Paws, Betty Lou's kitten. Grover looked around the room and remembered that he was at Betty Lou's house. So Paws got very comfortable with Grover and slept on his bed. After Grover and Betty Lou ate breakfast, they played school. They took turns being the teacher. Then they painted pictures until it was time for Grover to pack his suitcase again and go home. So they have cereal for breakfast and then see their painting. And the good thing is they put paper down. They're painting on the floor. That's very smart. So then they have newspaper down. So if they spill anything, they won't get it on the floor. Very thoughtful of them. Grover's mommy was waiting for him when he got home. 
She gave him a big hug and a kiss. Did you have a good time at Betty Lou's house? She asked. She's so excited to see her baby boy. Oh, yes, mommy, said Grover. Betty Lou, let me feed her turtle. And we built a whole neighborhood with her blocks. And we played school. And guess what? What, Grover? We had blueberry chew for breakfast. And I liked it almost as much as Monster Berry Crunch. And guess what else, said Grover? Betty Lou's mommy invited me to sleep over at their house again very soon, and I cannot wait to go. He had a wonderful time. So, I hope you like that. Grover's sleepover was a success, and now he can't wait to go again. So when we do something new that we haven't done before and it's fun, it's always good to do it again. And then maybe one day Grover will invite Betty Lou to sleep over at his house. Who knows? Thanks for tuning in with Grover Sleeps Over. See you next time.